Taking action in your twin flame relationship. Mary Meet, my dear soul, welcome to your tarot reading for today. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by looking at what you bring into your situation and what your twin flame brings into the situation. So for you, I see that you... I feel like you have a way of communicating. You have your own communication style. And I feel like you are pretty clear when it comes to what you want to say. I feel like you also might be kind of wordy with the things that you say. So there, there's a lot. You know, whenever, whenever you speak, there's a lot. And you do hold this sort of power whenever you speak that people do listen to you. People care about what you have to say. People care about your opinion. Okay, and I feel like when it comes to this situation between you and your twin, um, your twin really recognizes how you communicate and how you approach certain situations. Okay, I feel like when it comes to any problem that you may have or any situation that you may have, you are good at dealing with it because you also know how to look at things from a different perspective and not just through your eyes, but from a third person's point of view, for example, or you know, from a bird's eye view. So you know how to look at things from afar, especially when it comes to dealing with certain burdens or obstacles or challenges, okay? And I see that you know you are somebody that does not give up very easily so even if there are problems you are going to find a way to solve these problems and i also sense like you know this incredible strength coming from your energy right now of you know just perseverance and always looking at the glass half full even if you see all the struggles that you're dealing with you still try to find a way to see through or to see past these struggles and these obstacles and i see that because of this you bring in a lot of very healing very loving and very positive energy into this connection okay and i also see that you are somebody that really knows how to make things happen. So you're not just somebody who talks a lot, right? You're also somebody that does a lot. So not only do you talk the talk, but you also walk the walk. When it comes to your twin flame and what they bring into the situation, I see that they are somebody that is um, more traditional. Maybe they like more structure or more organization in their life. I do feel like, you know, they they can be... They, they're, they're used to being in a position of power. So they can be pretty authoritative at times and they can also be um, very wise as well. Now, what they bring into the situation, I feel like they bring a lot of happiness. They bring a lot of genuine um, loving emotions. They bring, you know, they, they bring you a lot of joy. And I love that you have the Nine of Cups and then your twin has the Ten of Cups because it does show me that there's a lot of genuine emotion and a lot of, you know, genuine care, respect, and love that you both have for one another. Now, I also see that your twin can tend to bring a lot of maybe chaos in your life. But I don't see that as something necessarily bad. It just almost feels chaotic because maybe your twin just moves very fast or moves around a lot. Um, there's a lot of movement that I'm picking up on here and a lot of restlessness. So maybe um, your twin does a lot of activities or maybe your twin travels a lot. There's just a lot of movement here, whether that is physical or energetic. Okay, so... I also see that your twin can tend to can tend to I feel like I feel like they can be a little bit hot headed um, with this five of wands, and you know 
they can be very sweet, they can be very loving, but I also see that they can be very passionate about what they feel. So if they're feeling a little bit upset, that can kind of be blown out of proportion. So um, I feel like you both balance each other out. You you know, you are somebody who can communicate clearly. You are somebody that can withstand whatever obstacle is ahead of you or lays in front of you. And your twin brings in a lot of like happiness, a lot of love, but can also kind of be all over the place. So let's take a look at some actions to avoid and actions to surrender. So what I see here, starting with the Two of Cups, I feel like it's important for you to avoid or surrender this feeling of rejection. Okay, so whatever the situation might be with you and your twin right now, maybe you are at a distance, maybe you are in separation, or maybe you are doing pretty well together. Whatever the situation is here, I see that it is important for you to avoid and surrender that feeling of rejection. So when things go south, maybe things have already gone south or you and your twin get into some argument. And the reason I say when instead of if is because these things are inevitable. Relationships are never perfect and there will always be some conflict, some drama. But whatever the situation may be, again, try not to see it as rejection and see it as redirection. Whether that applies to you now or, you know, that'll apply to you somewhere down the road, I do feel called to to say that to you. So I'm also seeing that it's important for you to avoid overthinking to the point that you surround yourself with your thoughts and you can no longer move okay so avoid overthinking avoid overanalyzing avoid like you know trying to read between the lines because i see that things you know they're they are presented to you in a way that is pretty blatant pretty um obvious and you don't have to you know look through every nook and cranny to find any form of confirmation or validation of you know, your fears and your worries. So really try to, you know, free your mind. Try to keep um, your mind in a state of flow. So I do feel like writing could really be beneficial for you. Um, Just writing down your thoughts, writing down your emotions. It can just be free form, you know, there doesn't have to be any structure. But this is going to help you untangle your thoughts so that they don't get bunched up in your head and causes you to not do anything. So really, as much as possible, try to avoid doubt. Try to avoid blame as well. Um, Whenever things happen, you know, it's important to remember your love for one another because again looking at the energies from earlier i do see that you have a lot of love for your twin your twin has a lot of love for you so the energy that stands between you both is um, very genuine and very true though sometimes conflicts may arise and this is the guidance that your spirit guides and the universe is giving to you so as much as possible avoid doubt Something else that I'm seeing here that you must avoid and surrender is, you know, resistance. I feel like there may be resistance to change. There may be resistance to, you know, meeting halfway, meeting in the middle. There may be resistance to compromising and, um, you know, just finding some sort of middle ground. So really just try to be adaptable, be open, be flexible to change because I do see that you and your twin are going to help each other evolve and change a lot. And that is the twin flame journey for you. So you have to be open and accepting of these changes that will happen in not only your twin flame relationship, but in your relationship with yourself. So I also see that you know, try to surrender to your intuition. Um, Don't doubt your intuition, but rather 
surrender to it, listen to it, allow your intuition to guide you because I feel like your intuition is really trying to pull you one way but you're not exactly listening or answering that call. So listen to your intuition, okay? Your intuition is really trying to guide you here and the universe encourages this, the universe supports this. Listen and surrender to your intuition. Another action to avoid is holding on too tightly or being too attached to an outcome. As much as possible, it is so important that you don't be too fixated or too attached on a certain thing happening, okay? Don't be dependent on that thing happening, on that outcome playing out for you. Don't be too attached to it. Again, allow yourself to go with the flow and try not to, you know, stay stuck or stay stagnant. A flow, like being in a flow state here is very important for you. Now, I'm also seeing that, you know, hoarding too much, hoarding too much thoughts, hoarding too much emotions and not letting go of them is going to weigh very heavily on your mind. So you are being guided and urged to really just be in this state of flow by not expecting an outcome, maybe not expecting your emotions to be this or that and just kind of taking life as it comes. So let's take a look at the best actions that you can take. So it's pretty interesting to me because you do have the Eight of Cups. So I see that sometimes just, you know, learning when to walk away, learning when to just protect your peace is really going to help you, you know, choose your battles, pick your battles wisely, I'm hearing. It is so important for you to remember your purpose, um, you know, remember that you love your twin and same goes for your twin, you know, it's important for them to remember their purpose, it's important for them to remember that they love you, so it's really, you know, like the best actions to take here when it comes to any situation with you and your twin is to remember the reason why you are doing what you're doing so that you can find a peaceful resolve now i also see that it would be um, very beneficial for you to start planning start preparing for what's to come because i do see that exciting things are up ahead for you there is good and potent and powerful energy that surrounds you and it's all up to you how you are going to utilize that to work for you so i see that planning and preparation is really in order here because i feel like the universe is really preparing you for um, a certain gift and i feel like the universe is going to be blessing you with some sort of abundance. This can be abundance in your love life with your twin. This can be abundance in your finances. Um, the universe is going to be blessing you with some abundance of something that you're wishing for, something that will bring balance into your life. So for example, you and your twin are not in good terms and so that's really messing with your psyche right now that's really you know that's making you feel bad the universe is going to bless you with abundance of love or let's say it's about finances and you're you're feeling quite short with your finances i see that the universe is going to be blessing you with more financial abundance so whatever it is that you are lacking right now or you feel needs a bit more um, that you need a bit more of in your life the universe is going to be blessing you with that so be prepared and feel excited and that is also why practical planning and preparation for the future is being asked of you right now by the universe now i'm also seeing that you know you are so close to reaching the finish line okay you are so close to reaching the finish line and your spirit guides do not want you to give up you are breaking free from i'm seeing small karmic cycles i feel like there are small lessons that you needed to um, learn and i feel like you've already achieved them you've already unlocked them 
Um, but I do, I do see that, you know, this is transforming you. This is transforming your relationship. So it's important for both you and your twin to also recognize and acknowledge all of these lessons that you both are um, learning here, all of these experiences that you are learning from, taking from. Um, it's important for you both to be aware of these lessons that you're learning so that you can carry along with you the wisdom moving forward, okay? So when it comes to this twin flame relationship, I feel like the best course of action to take is really just having more clarity when it comes to your intentions with one another. I feel like there is a lack of organization when it comes to this connection and that can that can manifest in so many different ways. So please take it how it resonates. Now, this is what I see for you, Divine Soul. If you would like to join me in the extended reading where we will look at the unexpected bonus or reward for you taking that recommended action as well as some insight on the highest purpose of this relationship at the moment i will leave the link below blessed be